I start, start our meeting? Oh, yeah. Um, there we go. This video is being live streamed. Hello, people of the intraconnect. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Um, so, hello everyone. We are the Youth Ambassador Team. We are the Youth Music Ambassador Team uh, with Music at the Edge <laughs> with the Yes Centre. So, as you can see, um, there are four of us here. So, you've got Tom who works with us on behalf of like Music at the Edge and coordinates the whole thing for us. Then I'm Liv. I was our sole Youth Music Ambassador for the past couple of years. Um, and that means that we have worked on many chaotic projects, including um, there was a music video theory, music videos that went up. I think we did about 30 of those. We've done um, online virtual gigs and talked about important things uh, to our local community, such as the fishing industry or climate change. That was a big one. Um, and we've done many other fabulous things, uh, particularly during COVID as well. We really tried to keep morale up around the community and, you know, be a breath of fresh air for people online. And so that's all gone really well. So now I'm delighted to tell you that we have branched out and we've got a team so we can do even more, which is really great. Um, so yeah, I'm Liz and then below me should be Terry. So hello, Terry. Hello. Um, so yeah, Terry's been working with us, so yeah. I'm Terry. Hi. <laughs> uh, I, joined, <laughs> I joined the Edge, what? Four years ago now, maybe five. How old am I now? 26. Four years ago, I joined The Edge. Uh, just joining in with the music sessions, uh, being part of the rock band and joining in with um, gigs. I couldn't think of the word then. Um, and since then, I've branched out and asked if I could be a volunteer. And I'm now the official TikToker. We have a Music at the Edge TikTok account. Woo woo! So that's me. <laughs> um, then the next member on our team is Wesley. So hello, Wes. Hey. So Wes, what have you um what have you done? What are your plans for the team? Well, um I started I started coming to the edge, I'm gonna say about five or six years ago, something like that. Um I started with a like with like a little drama group at the edge, which now is no longer is no longer here, unfortunately. Um then I I had a brief stint with music and then I didn't really that, it, at that point that specific group wasn't really my thing. So then I did a couple of other things, including the D&D group and Young Vols. And then I came back to the music, to the music groups, the, um, the Thursday after sessions, and I've loved it since then. Um, and my role as the youth music ambassador, or as one of them, um, it's, it's more the physical side of it. So specifically the, the, um, the, Thursday, uh, the, first, the Thursday groups, you know, helping people with that, making sure everyone, everyone gets to say, um, sort, of, sort, of, sort of getting out, getting it out saying to people hey this is a thing that happens maybe it's maybe it's something you enjoy perfect thank you um so the other and fourth member of our team who unfortunately can't be here today is um andy west who is an amazing human being so yay andy even though you can't be here and he is part of just like delivering the project and he works closely with us to make sure that any plans that we have and we work to do and get all ready he helps us deliver that and is you know genius so yes love Andy um so yeah really this whole video here is our first live update of our meetings that we have which are normally a bit like this on zoom because of covid um and we kind of brainstorm ideas any ideas we've got any ideas we thought well we've done that that was really good we need to improve on that for next year um so we thought we'd give you uh, the occasional update live so you can see uh, how the magic works behind the scenes so <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a, a bit chaotic. It's quite informal. Sometimes we're in pajamas, but we're here today, fully clothed, ready to go. Um, so yeah. So the first thing I think we all need to talk about probably is um, it's Christmas, and we've got our annual carol concert coming up that we probably need to um, sort out because we like a good bit of last minute planning. So um, really, I think what we need to do for that is like find dates probably, or <laughs> yeah, we probably do. Yeah. Um, you're, and, you're, and you're quite right, Liv. Yeah, the, 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 um, in, in the last year in lockdown, we put on a Christmas-themed carol concert where we had musicians like live streaming performances in, we were coordinating, we had musicians self-taping and then sending us videos and we were able to cut those together. Um, and yeah, we're going to do the same thing this year, which is really exciting. So yeah. I think that probably the three of us will be um, part of that live stream. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. 
we haven't we haven't really planned a day. We haven't organised a day as yet. But one will be one will be planned really soon, um, and then advertised. So you can check out our Facebook page to to so keep up to date with that. And in the meantime, if you'd like to be involved with it in any way, then just reach out and contact us. Um, my email address is tom at yesbrickton.org.uk, or you can message us directly through the Music at the Edge Facebook page, uh, which is really easy to find. Or Instagram. Or Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Yeah. Oh, it's on to Instagram. Yeah, it's quite Instagram. And yeah, if you well, catch any I'm, contact details, I'm sure they'll probably be available on the website. Yes, on the website, on the Instagram page, on the Facebook page. It's all linked, it's all there. Um, so, yeah, but going on to Instagram, um, we did have an Instagram account and we have now refreshed it and given it a bit of a revamp. <laughs> um, we made it more user friendly. Um, so it's amazing and go and check it out we post all of our updates on there all of our future gigs on there and so now that we've got a team Terry is now going to be working quite closely with all of our social medias um, so she will be um, doing all the trends for us any videos we have so do you have any upcoming trends ideas or things that we're going to put on there yet Terry? Put on the spot there. Um, <laughs> at the moment, there isn't such TikTok trends, um, but I'm definitely up for anyone sending me or sending Tom some videos that we can review and put on TikTok. Just 30 second videos of someone shredding on the guitar or singing or anything musically, and we will put it up there. Yes. Cool. Yeah. And then I think the other thing that we've briefly spoken about, but not properly yet, is um, Throwback Thursdays, um, which is definitely something that I think we will want to implement. I think it'd be a really good idea. Um, so generally for people who don't know what Throwback Thursday is, because why would you, it's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hopefully run it through our Instagram page, maybe our Facebook page, but uh, currently Instagram. And basically every Thursday or every other Thursday, um, I'm not sure which one we want yet. Um, yeah. But yeah, we might see how it goes, I don't know. Um, and I think we just really want to um, refresh um, memories that we've got from past events and uh, collaborations we've done. So whether that will be um, just literally a, a snapshot picture of a, of a group of people from an event or maybe a, a bit of a video from uh, music videos or gigs or grottos or any other event we've had um, and just generally anyone's memory so we can maybe interview people or you know get little like clips of people after gigs I can imagine we can probably probably get some people to help us out on that one at the um, at the end of gigs or yes center just generally and I think see what people um see what people love about the yes center and maybe that will show the values that we have and um the key the key ideas that are that is us generally and what we all value and love uh there so I think that would be good and that would help that beautifully put yeah beautiful. I just thought maybe it'd be good to you know we post new content all the time so let's refresh from the old content as well because people loved it then I'll love it now and you know the people that look at it are normally people that were part of making those memories so I think that's a good idea. It'd be nice to get in touch with some people that don't come anymore and maybe hear from them what they loved while they were here to get yeah. like a oh, That's a great idea and see what see what they're up to also like see if they're yeah. still playing music see, you know yeah see if they're still part of their lives. Yeah. yeah. Great idea. Yeah. Terry Jackson, someone write that down please that's a great idea. I will <laughs> write that down right now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think that'd be good. And I think Terry and I will work closely together to get that sorted. Um, so yeah, we've talked about that. We talked about, we talked about our carol concert. Uh, we, we, yeah, we have, yeah. We've we talked about the carol concert. Or at least we've kind of explained what it is and sort of let people know that if they want to get involved, they can be. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, the dates and times for broadcast are to be confirmed, but it'll be just like this. It'll be a Facebook live stream. Uh, with us hosting it and uh, yes yeah, sort or of people zooming in and, and playing live or some pre-recorded stuff videos, yeah mm. cool um and what other events have we got coming up um What's the christmas video christmas video yeah it's video yeah well, so, do you to want to write the christmas video a little bit yeah sure um <clears throat> it's gonna we're hopefully gonna be doing a rocking around the christmas tree um it's not we, we we haven't really confirmed like um when we're going to do it or any specifics of it but it's just something as like a sort of a mental note this is something that we're going to do um that's true that, that's true yeah, yeah. In, in, in fact there are a couple of different ways that you can get involved with that if you would like to do so so um the for anyone that hasn't seen our christmas videos of years gone by every year we make a sort of 
really inclusive music video where as many musicians as we can sort of bully or, or, or coerce into joining in we get them to, to, to play along with a, with a pre-recorded backing track in headphone land and then we use that performance to drop together to make a, to make an original piece of music um, so you can either get involved by coming down to music at the edge on whichever thursday we are going to have our recording session uh, it'll be it'll be obviously before december and it'll be advertised um, on, our music, on our facebook page um, right before it happens um, or you can request the backing track and then i'll ping one across to you and you can just self-tape you know set, set a phone up over here um, and, and, you know, in, in the post-pandemic land, everyone is pretty much knows how to do that. You can do it through Zoom and hit record that way. Um, and then send me that video and then, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll cut you in somewhere. Mm. Yeah, I think that'd be good. I think that's a good way that we can get people um, involved and still, you know, because some people can be quite cautious about COVID or any of that kind of stuff. So that's another way that we can be a bit more inclusive and get everybody in, no matter Whee! where you're at. Um, with the whole thing. So, yeah, I think that's good. We keep, we and keep make sure you dress up Christmassy. We want to see Christmas hats and tents everywhere. Mm -hmm. We do. The coolest people are the people that go the biggest on Christmas. So, <laughs> you know, there's no point having like a little sparkly, sparkly, like, I don't know, jumper or something. You need to go full, full out Christmas hat. We love it. Um, so, yeah. Um, mm. Other things we've got coming up, uh, we've got a David Fish and Chip Shop. That's. Uh, that's Very. a good part of our yearly traditions at Christmas. Best gig of the year. We spend all of our time and energy planning really elaborate in-house music events, but my favourite gig of the year is David's Fish and Chip Shop. Um, so right up the road from Yes Brixton, um, David's host us every year. We've done it for the last five or six years, and they let us completely invade the shop while they're frying the fish and uh, cooking the chips. And uh, yeah, we, we, we wear um, <laughs> the most outlandish Christmas gear that we've got. And we, we, we busk right in the shop. It's the best. It's great and fun. And customers cannot fit in there, so they all have to queue outside for their food because <laughs> we're in there singing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think I think that should go ahead. I think we're finding a date for that, aren't we? Got yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Uh, but I think as soon as we know about that, we'll be popping that. All the social medias will be telling everybody once again check that all out it'll all be on there we like to keep updated um so that i think that's generally everything that we've got planned um i mean there's always going to be a few impromptu things that come up because we do like a you know we love it when people come up to us and go i've got an idea and we're like great let's do it um we do so, yeah we do uh, i'm sure i'm sure something something else will pop up at some point as well um but I think that's generally everything we've got planned. But I think we've got ideas for the new, like New Year, post Christmas. Um, yeah. Does anyone have any general ideas or? We've got. We want to try and plan a fundraiser. Um, collab as our birthday event as well. It was our birthday this year. Um, how many years was it? Twenty twenty five. Oh God, it's, yeah, it was it was the 25th anniversary of um, the formation of the charity Yes Brixton. So Music at the Edge is a project that um, Yes Brixton offers to the community. So Music at the Edge is the name of the project. Yes Brixton is the name of the charity. Uh, and the charity turns 25 um, in 2021. Yeah. yeah, and we weren't able to celebrate it because of COVID. So hopefully in the new year, we'll be able to celebrate it, as well as do a fundraiser for the grotto that's hopefully going ahead this year. Uh, but we haven't got all the plans for that yet. But we'd like to make the fundraiser next year and get everyone together and have a great party. Whee! Yeah, we would. Yeah, we certainly would. That's good. Yeah. And then, like, we're obviously going to have our... We love a music video or two. We love a gig or two. Um, any of those kind of things. We will be, I'm sure, making a lot of music once again. Yay! We love to make music. So, um, we do. Yeah, we do. Even if, even if COVID does go a little bit more out of control again, we will do our best to um, provide the community with with music, with music, music and music videos and and live stream gigs and like that. So we, we will try to. Yeah, I think I think we've well, I think we found a good system now that will work for. Uh, we can still put stuff on whether or not COVID COVID goes a bit out of control again because. Um, yeah. We are equipped, we're, like I said, up and running in most social media now. We are uh, live streaming all the way. We can do editing, get videos together, and 
generally we all just like a good chat so there's never going to be a moment where someone's not in conversation about something that's going to happen <laughs> and um, I'm sure we'll always consider COVID um, but I think we'll always have a backup plan so uh, nothing should be majorly put on hold which would be um, amazing I think so yeah I think that's generally everything really I so think so yeah to... I think that's most places covered yeah, I was going to say, I, just the, the collaboration videos in general that we've done throughout lockdown and obviously having to use Zoom to get everyone involved, it's kind of been the light in the dark anyway, because even though we can't, uh, how do I explain this? So when we when we do our music videos, we do we used to do like certain bands. So it was the rock band did a video, then the, um, the health trust did a video. And now yeah. using the lockdown videos, we've all managed to collaborate together, get everyone involved. And we've had m the most people in one video we've ever had mm. because of lockdown. So it's kind of like, a positive thing out of a negative I don't know how to explain it but it's just been like really heartwarming to see so many people on one video and it's just great so yeah. there's always a good thing to come no matter what happens yeah that's so true yeah all those videos are available to watch on our Facebook page you can go and scroll back through our feed uh, and you can find them um yeah there's, there's, there's plenty of content there or look out for the throwback Thursdays where yes, all look out for throwback Thursday. <laughs> Well, yeah, we should get that sorted soon. Um, so, yeah, I think thanks for coming, everybody. And um, keep an eye out for our next live update, which I'm sure we'll do uh, periodically to give you all a bit more of an insight into what's going through our brains. Um, I thought that was quite efficient for us, to be honest. I thought that was normally good. I'm so impressed with you all. If anybody has any ideas that they'd like us comment. to review and maybe put in, you should comment down on what you want us to do. Yes, let us know, please. Um, we will listen and there's no idea too crazy. Trust me, we will give it a go anyway. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone. Thank so much, Yay! we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.